Hello everyone, my name is Anton Pelcher. I'm an engineer and I've been building fish farms for over 10 years. In this video, I will tell you how and where to sell African catfish. As I have already mentioned in one of the previous videos, African catfish has a number of unique advantages, growing aspects that allow it to be farmed very efficiently, in large quantities and on small areas. But there is a nuance which is its marketing. And the problems that quite a lot of farmers face are mostly related to sales and marketing. And it might sound rather interesting and even strange, but African catfish farmers are divided into two groups. The first are those who have no success in its sales. They get grow out fish, but they don't know where to sell it and fail. The second are those who have queues of customers lining up to buy their fish. Watch this video to the end, and you will learn not only the basics of selling African catfish, but also seven important tips that will create a queue of customers in front of your farm. To successfully sell catfish, the most important is that you need to understand people's psychology and how they perceive this fish in general. Imagine, what is catfish? I'm sure you have seen it many times, you have heard about it in the childhood. I'm not talking about African catfish in particular. It's a scavenger, it's a fish that eats frogs, it has a scary moustached head, and you can't understand how to consume this fish. And that's the basics of the general idea and perception of catfish and it's automatically transferred African catfish. By the way, everyone who used to catch catfish as a child, or probably your father or grandfather did, be sure to press the like button. And here we go. An additional difficulty, which contributes to its bad image, is that it's difficult to serve it beautifully, aesthetically. Live or just chilled, it's very difficult to serve it the way that makes people want to eat it. In reality, the meat taste and the general appearance of African catfish are very different from that of its river counterpart. It doesn't have the taste of catfish like the river catfish has. It has completely different properties and features. And besides, catfish grown at grass farms is fed with the same extruded feed and grows in the same treated water as its elite counterparts such as sturgeon, trout, and so on. As a result, you get the same quality of meat as that of premium fish such as sturgeon. And many who have once tried African catfish tend to eat it again and again, provided, of course, that they have tried a high-quality processed product. That were some basic aspects. But now let's move on to some of the most interesting tips. How to make sure that your production, your business, has many customers queued up to buy African catfish from your farm. And first of all, don't call it catfish. Because as soon as you pronounce this word, your customers' minds will instantly conjure up images that I have just told you about. Many farmers who have been growing catfish for a prolonged period call it at least a little bit differently. Marbled catfish, king catfish, or which is better, clarid or claris. This is in principle a somewhat established name, which already bypasses the classic version that it's a typical catfish. The second principle is that it's practically useless to sell catfish live. Or rather, it can be done, but it's very difficult. So African catfish definitely needs to be processed somehow. And the deeper this processing is, the better and more effective it's to sell it. Let's now consider one of the ways of its processing, which is smoking. I will now show you the final products, which are obtained by African catfish smoking. For example, this fillet, hot smoked, vacuum packed. It's a finished product that you can just buy, open and eat. You don't have to cut the head off, gut it, cook it. You just open the package and eat it. That's what people like now. People like as easy to consume food as possible. Boiled and smoked rolls, which by the way are also very tasty and are considered dietary. This is a product which is a very popular among the customers of this particular farmer. The headed and ungutted catfish is hot smoked, and there are a lot of customers for this type of product too. It looks so wonderful, and it's also very delicious. This is the same, only vacuum packed. In principle, the only difference is that it's more difficult to damage, and in principle, its shelf life is slightly longer. 
Any processing allows you not only to sell your fish easier, but also to increase the margin. Despite the fact that processing incurs some losses, the added value covers them and provides the opportunity to earn on top of the sale of live fish. To be more precise, it's not even fish anymore. It's a finished fish product. This is called smoked catfish fillet. And these, interesting enough, are the tails, waste in principle, which is obtained after the catfish is cut into steaks. It means that you can make a processed product from conditional waste. And also, our client told us a very interesting thing, that even hot smoked catfish heads are in high demand. Though for me, personally, it's not clear why people buy them and what for. And now, life hack 4. Deep processing into sausages is also a great thing to do. That is, if you get the recipe right, African catfish meat is perfect for processing into sausages and frankfurters. And some farmers mix it with other type of meat. And get sausages when tasting which, it's almost impossible to distinguish that fish is one of the ingredients. That is, as if you are eating real sausage, which you have been used to eating all your life. And in this way, you don't even have any perception of what exactly you are eating. Besides, this sausage is relatively inexpensive, and at the same time, it's super environmentally friendly, because catfish is fed only with natural feed. It's a very interesting product. Sausages, frankfurters, and other similar products. The fifth tip is making raw semi-finished products such as cutlets, dumplings, zrazi, nuggets, and basically anything else that you could probably find in the deep freeze departments. There are semi-finished products in practically each and every shop. You can do the same thing with African catfish, and it has a very long shelf life, as soon as you put it in the freezer and it stays there. The sixth tip is to offer its degustation, tasting. In my experience, after tasting catfish, most people really like it. So try to sell your fish, not live of course, but processed fish products through tasting. By the way, if you've ever had a chance to try African catfish, be sure to write your opinion of its meat in the comments below. I'm really interested to know your stories of the first time you've ever tasted African catfish and what it tasted like to you. I read the comments myself and will definitely reply. And the seventh life hack is the trickiest of all. Some farmers in my country manage to make catfish in a nagi sauce and supply it to restaurants instead of eel. Of course, restaurants are aware about it. But catfish is such a great substitute for eel that restaurants chiefs just switch from eel, which they buy for 25 US dollars per kilo, to catfish, which they buy for 6-7 US dollars per kilo. In principle, they're serving practically the same product, but spending much less money on it. And now the summary and the most important conclusion. Make those catfish products that people will try more than once. Because otherwise, you will get interested, curious, but one-time customers who will never come back to you. Make those products that people can include into their daily diet and order from you periodically and even on a regular basis. Then you are guaranteed success and a queue of customers. Despite the fact that catfish in general is an inexpensive type of fish with a relatively low prime cost, don't compare it with those types of fish that can be bought for 1.52 US dollars per kilogram wholesale in frozen form, such as pollock, navaga, cod, and so on. This is a completely different type of fish, much higher in quality than the fish which is sold in bulk, frozen. These types of fish are not compatible with what you farm and offer to the market. Sure, African catfish will be 30% more expensive than the cheapest fish, but it will be a completely different class of product. And remember, in order for you to set up a successful African catfish farming business, you need to understand the specifics of its farming and marketing. Press the like button and subscribe to my channel. It's Anton Pelcher and my channel on how to grow fish and make good money from it.